you trade options or you would like to start trading options, this is going to change your entire perspective on trading them and how fast executions can be on thinkorswim. Um, but to dive right into it, you should know how to use the active trader tab. If you don't go look back into my, my most previous video on just like the basics on the setting up your thinkorswim and how to trade stocks. Uh, but you can actually use thinkorswim active trader tab for options contract as well. And the executions on there are unbelievable. So, First off, you're going to want to come to, to right here. You're going to want to go to that trade tab. Trade tab, you're going to want to click all products here and then whatever stock you're looking to trade. So we'll do Tesla because it has the most movement um, back in the day. And it was this, this is March 31st, 2021. It's trading at 655. It's up $19 on the day. So there's a lot of movement here. And I want to show you a really cool shortcut real quick. I use the charts tab. I set up all my technical indicators over here. If you're trading options, you should know what technical indicators are. I'll make a video on that in the future. But here's my chart. I'm looking at the one minute on Tesla and it looks like it's starting to break out here. So I want to catch some of this, some of this, uh, this upward momentum. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, I like to open up this little chart tab here and I like to have two, this on demand feature right now is really slow. This isn't my actual account value, by the way, it's all simulated. Um, but this is what I like to do. I like to have Tesla. You don't even have to do this actually, but I'm going to type in Tesla anyway. And then I'm going to go over here and this AT on the right is your active trader. So I'm going to pull this active trader right up. Um, and then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click settings. I'm going to do buy the bid because I want the best execution. If you buy the bid, that's the cheapest price at the current level. Um, and then I'm going to also sell the ask. So I keep those in there just in case if they get, if they get filled or somebody takes my, takes my offer, but most of the time they usually don't. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click drop down arrow. So I'm going to join the bid on this. I'll click auto send because I want them to execute almost perfectly. And I'll look at the one minute chart up here. So this is Tesla stock price. And if you trade options, you know, options move based off the stock price. So the coolest part about active trader and what changed my entire perspective on this. So if I wanted to day trade an option, I would click this all products tab, right? So I would get the options chain. This is all my strikes. So I'll look for the closest strike when I'm, when I'm day trading. So April 1st, 2021, um, the left side, you open it all up. It's all calls on the left side. On the right side, it's all puts. The strike or the expiration date is in the middle. So you can see April 1st, 2021. And then the strikes of where you expect the stock price to go are in the middle. Looks pretty crazy, but it's actually not that bad. Um, so if I want to buy a call in this upward momentum, in the black, this is out of the money. And in the purple, it's in the money. Same side for the puts. But if I'm trying to buy a call here, the best part about this feature is I'll try to buy the closest to the strike price, so 657.50. I'll right click on this side, and instead of buying it, and you can usually do buy single, and then it'll pop up for you, but I like to send this to red, and then when I go back to my charts tab, pretty slow, sorry. When I go back to my charts tab, there's just something right here, there's a little link button next to the, the stock price ticker that you type in, if you actually drop this down and you also link it to red, just like you did, just like you sent it, it's going to show you another graph, but it's not going to show you the stock price. It's going to show you that option contract you're looking at. So now you can see that this is actually trading at 1115, which is $1,115 for this option contract. Tesla's pretty expensive, but that's besides the point. Um, you're going to see the graph on how the option contract is moving now. So you can see the volume behind it. There's a lot of volume happening in this ticker or this, this tick right here on this five minute. Um, for Tesla. And you can see Tesla starting to consolidate over here on the one minute. Uh, kind of like a little falling wedge here after a breakout, almost like a bull flag also. But if I think it's going to break out right here and I like this entry point, I can see it's trading at 1085. I can just use the quantity of how many contracts I want to buy. So for example, we'll just take the, we'll just take 10 contracts. It's currently trading at 1082. So, you know what? I'll just hop in at 1085. I'll take the execution. Oh, it's a 1070. So let's get it. As you can see, this gray one is moving. So this left side is the buy side. This right side is the sell side. It really lags on this on-demand feature, but when it's real-time data, it actually is very, very quick. Um, but so it's trading at 1060. So I'm trying to buy here at 1060. Uh, looks like it's a little bit lower than that price. So in terms of just doing this, we could hit join the bid, but we probably won't get filled um, or we could join the ask, but or just for this example, we'll just hit buy market. You can see how quick you're in those 10 contracts and you'll just go back to the monitor tab. It shows you that you're already down $105, $30. Um, now you're up 20 bucks. So say you like, I'll go back to my charts tab because I have all the information right here. 
still trading at 1030. Stock price has gone down. Um, I would expect this to break down a little bit. Just be, I wouldn't expect it to go much further. Um, you can average in. So like say I want to buy 10 more on this. It looks like it's consolidating a little bit and bouncing up this exponential moving average. So I bought 10 more. I now have 20 contracts of Tesla. Um, and the best part about this feature is that I can literally just sell out whenever I want. If you sell the market, you're probably not going to get the best execution, but you can literally just scroll up. So it's trading at 1046 right now. Say you want to get out of this trade at like 11, $11 and make $60 a contract. So in this case, we have 20 contracts now. So that'd be quite a bit of money. So I can literally set the sell limit at 10. And I could also set a sell limit a little bit lower. Uh, we'll do a little bit higher because it looks like it's about to break out. We could do sell limit 10 more there. So now we just got sold on our first one at 1102. And then I broke out a little bit and sold our other one at 1122. So if we go back to our tab, we should be completely out of that contract. And we actually ended up making $1,310 on that trade right there. So as you can see, the active trader is actually super helpful because of how quick you can execute on that. It looked like it was about to break out there. So we took that, we took that price. Um, like I said, it's not as laggy in real time, but this was it's lagging a little bit here because of it. But the best tab or the best feature on this is sending those contracts to this link so you can see it on your tab as well and watch it real time on how things are gonna move. So you can literally just buy market, sell market really quickly. You probably won't get the best um, executions, but that's why I put join the bid and join the ask. So you can join the bid and be patient, or you can join the ask and be patient when you're looking to sell. Um, but just be, just be aware the option contracts do move crazy. So if you want to get out, you can literally just sell out really quickly here, wherever it's currently trading at. Um, you could chase it up and down where it's trading at on that gray line. So it's at 1073, 1077. Um, now it's all the way down to 1025. So you can follow that gray line all the time. Um, I usually like to keep this a little bit larger. Uh, I have a couple screens, so I usually have one open where you can see mostly all of these if you expand it higher, but uh, you could chase it around, you could buy market, you could sell market, or buy it over here, you could put in bids, you could put in stop orders, um, limit orders, any type of thing. But I like to do the buy market, sell market. Um, but the coolest feature is you can actually watch the graph on this, con on this contract. So it's all right here for you. Oh, the execution's right here, unbelievable how quick they are. Um, see, it's at 1025. It's at 1025, so I can put a limit at 1025. So when it hits that again, it'll execute for me. But I'm going to actually cancel that by hitting this X. Um, so that's a really cool feature of the Active Trader and options. Options actually, this changed my entire perspective on trading options because of how fast you're in and out. Um, as you can see, just in that example, we just made 1300 bucks off of a Tesla call in or 20 Tesla contracts in literally what was that three minutes? So. The executions on the Active Trader are unbelievable, so I just wanted to introduce that to you and how you can send these contracts to the Active Trader and factor it into your everyday trading. Hope that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments for me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.